South Foreign Ministry held talks with its Japanese counterpart on ways to improve ties and possibly arrange a summit. This is the first time in almost half a decade a South Korean top diplomat has visited the country. Kim Dami starts us off. South Korea is speeding up its efforts to improve the icy bilateral ties with Japan, with TARS a top diplomat in Tokyo for the first time in nearly five years. During their first in-person talks on Monday, South Korea's Foreign Minister Park Jin and his Japanese counterpart Yoshimasa Hayashi discussed the mutual interest and put their heads together on ways to pursue a future-oriented relationship. And that included the issue of compensation for the Koreans and Japan subject to two wartime forced labor. While the two sides agreed on the need for resolving the matter at an early date, Buck pledged to what he could do so that there are desirable solutions before the assets of related Japanese firms are liquidated. There are many good opinions coming out. We will explain this situation to Japan and put together all our wisdom to find the most reasonable solution. Revitalizing people-to-people -people exchanges also topped Monday's talk, including a visa waiver between the two countries. The two diplomats have further agreed to deal firmly with North Korea's latest military ambitions and beef up cooperation with the U.S. in pursuit of diplomatic solutions. Hopes are also high that Bak's three-day visit could include a sit-down with Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Gishida, which could pave a way for the first summit between the current leaders of the two countries. Bak also plans to pay her respects to Japan's late former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Kim Dami, Arirang News.